सुप्रभात बच्चों वेलकम टू हिंदी क्लास इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव कंप्लीटेड सम ऑफ द कॉन्सोनेंट्स एंड दे वर लेट एक्चुअली वी हैव डन ओनली वन लेटर अ न्यू लेटर दैट वाज म टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू टू मोर लेटर्स ओके सो लेट मी शेयर व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टुडे in today's hindi class we are go you all know that uh, we are still doing alphabets and alphabets are divided into two parts vowels and consonants right and we are doing consonants consonants are letters from k to h there are many letters in between these two letters k and h okay so these letters are there which uh, we have done some of the letters we have already completed till m k to m we have completed now we are in the sixth line we are in the sixth line where you have letter y and r today we are going to do these two letters let's see these two letters y and r okay so first of all we will start with the letter y we will see how to write the letter how to pronounce the letter and what are the pictures or words which starts with this letter okay so let's see how to write this letter first to write this letter y you have to start with the number 2 so how are you going to write you start to like this and then come down right u and go up and come down with a standing line and then cover it on the top okay i'm writing once again more neatly start with the let uh, number 2 turn like you go up standing line leave it down and then cover it on the top this is your letter y you have to open your mouth and say y y okay now let us see what are the pictures which start with this letter y okay so here we have the first picture as y se yan yan means any flight or aeroplane which flies in the air they are called yan okay the next picture is y se yag now yag is this uh, you can see in the middle they are burning some sticks and uh, some people the priests are sitting beside uh, that fireplace that uh, fire thing in the middle is called yag okay so they are and we call these people that they are performing a yag or yajna in english we know this word as yajna okay next is yo se yak you all have done this uh, word when you were in uh, nursery like why say you must have done yak right so yak we also know uh, the animal in hindi as yak okay okay so this is y se yak let us revise these words y se yan yan means airplane y se yagya yagya means yajna and y se yak yak means yak okay an animal now let us move to the next letter r so i'm going to tell you how to write this letter r to write this letter 
R. This is also very easy, children. See how you have done letter. Uh, you have not done. Okay, so I'm going to teach you this letter. You start with the number two itself. Write like two. Then for two, you have to put a sleeping line. But here we are going to put a slanting line and then cover it on the top. This is your letter R. I'm going to write once again. See clearly. Start with the number two. Then put a slanting line and then cover it on the top. This is your letter R. Fine. Now let us see what are the pictures which start with this letter R. So the uh, R say we have the first picture as Rath. What is this Rath? Can you see this is all called chariot in Hindi. In English we call it chariot and you can see that uh, the horses are pulling this chariot on this chariot even the prince or uh, the king they sit actually nowadays we don't have king or prince or princess nowadays these things are used for uh, pol politicians or sometimes uh, they uh, they are used in uh, ma marriages okay so this is the chariot this is a type of uh, cart okay so in hindi we call it rath Ra se rat. Now, next is Ra se rasi. You have seen these type of ropes. So, this rope is called rasi in Hindi. Rasi is the word for rope. Next is Ra se rubber. Rubber means eraser. Uh, children in English, we call uh, this. As eraser, like when you write something with a pencil and if you want to remove some of the part writ which was written wrong, you need to erase it. But here in Hindi, we don't call it eraser. We call it rubber. We call it rubber. Rubber is used to rub something. Okay, now let us rev revise these. Rase, rat, rase. Rasi means rope, rase, rubber, rubber means eraser. Okay, now let us move to the poem part. So, in uh, the first poem, which is based on uh, letter Y, I'm going to discuss about airplane. You can see the picture here, Y say yarn. We are going to talk about picture. A, an aeroplane. Okay, so please listen carefully. Ya se hota hai yan. Right bandhu ka vardan. Vayu ko cheer. Bhade uran. Jio udte ho veer hanuman. So, what does it mean? See? Ya se hota hai yan. So, I have taught you that ya se. We have a word yarn and yarn means aeroplane, right? So, here se hota hai yarn. Right bandhu ka vardan. Right bandhu means right brothers. So, uh, you know, this aeroplane was invented by two brothers and they were called as right brothers. Okay. Vayu ko cheer bhare uran. And you know how the aeroplane moves. When uh, we sit in aeroplane, we uh, see that it is just tearing the wind or air and it is going in between that. So, Vayu Kochir means it tears the wind and move forward. Okay. It looked like that. Jiyur Teho Veer Hanuman. So, uh, have you heard about the Hanuman? Hanuman was also one of the person who used to fly in the air like aeroplane okay so here we are comparing here that yarn means aeroplane moves like hanuman 
Under, understood, children? So here we have talked about uh, aero, an aeroplane. Here say yarn. Now let us move to the next picture. The next picture is Rasa Rath. I have already shown. Now I am going to read a poem based on Rath. Please listen carefully. Rasa Rath Raja ka hota kar savari shobha pata ab vigyan ne kiya anusandhan diya vahano ka vardhan. Okay, so what does it mean? See ya. Ra se. So I have taught that this word rath starts with the letter ra. Ra se rath. And ra, raja ka hota. Rath jo hota hai, wo kiska hota hai? Uh, the rath belongs to kings. I told you nowadays we don't have kings. In olden days when there were kings and all, they used to have this type of Rath. Now we don't use it much. We only use for special occasions like uh, marriage or something else. Kar Savari Sobhapata. So when Raja used to sit, Raja means king, when they used to sit on this type of chariot or Rath, wo Shobhapata. Matlab, they, we, uh, he, uh, the king was like one of the very important person. And um, even the king used to look very nice that, oh, wow, the king is coming in a very huge chariot. Okay. Ab bigyan ne kiya san anusandhan. So we were talking about the olden days. But nowadays, because our scientists have developed, who has developed? Our scientists have developed the vahano ka vardhan. Now we have got vahan. Vahan means vehicles. Uh, in olden days, this was uh, one of the uh, means of transport and uh, uh, kings used to use this. But nowadays, why we are not using this? Because we have many varieties of vehicles like cars, buses, airplanes, all these things are available. So we don't use this rat. Okay. So Abhigyan Nikya Hensa means the science has uh, improved so much has invented so many things that uh, we don't use rat, we use mostly the vehicles. Okay, children? Is it clear? So, in today's class, we have discussed about two things in detail. That is, you say yarn, yarn means aeroplane, who invented aeroplane, and the rat, who used to use rat, and why we are not using rat nowadays. Okay? So these two children, if you like my video, please like it, subscribe it and share with your friends. I will be very, very thankful to you. Thank you.